Hi guys and welcome along to today's video. Now an often asked question is that one, how do I get the confidence to have a go at doing my own home plumbing and heating? It's quite a treacherous job if you get it wrong isn't it? But honestly if you take it in the right steps, in the right order, anyone can have a go at doing your own system plumbing and heating. It's not arduous, it's just a little bit of care to be taken at each step. Now, lots of plumbing videos dive straight in and leave off the, the fundamental things like such as turning the water off first. <laughs> yeah, big one. I know it doesn't need to be turned off on every job. Obviously, bleeding radiators, you don't need to turn the water off. Uh, Reinstalling the pressure to your combi boiler, you don't need to turn the water off. There's various items where you won't need to turn the water off, but in the main, if you are unsure about any job you want to tackle, just turn the water off now. I've had plenty of young lads call me and uh, loads of emails on there. They'd, they'd like to be trained up to be a plumbing heating engineer as a career. And what's involved? Well, it is quite a struggle and it's getting the confidence, again, as I'm telling you earlier, to, to be able to do it in your own mind that you've got this practical knowledge you need which is actually hands-on isn't it with tools you've got to be able to use tools know them and be able to work with them as well as the old ticker up here because the good thing about plumbing and heating that i always liked was that you had to use both if you get a really technical plumbing job whereby you may go into someone's house and they've got no central heating to a couple of radiators but they've got it to the rest of the house you've got to pretty much work out what's going on and also come up with the fix so it kind of exercises the old brain as well as the hands with the tools so it's a kind of double spread thing which is what i enjoy about it really and it's what makes plumbing that bit more interesting than other trades in my opinion <laughs> so even if it's DIY that you're trying to tackle at home, uh, I can quite understand when you've, especially younger people, you've moved into a first time house and it's an old one and there's loads of work want doing and you haven't got a clue, you've never done it and you just don't know where to start. It is a real headache but just take it very, very slowly, a little bit at a time and honestly the confidence that you'll get back when you actually do do a job yourself with no help from anyone else and it is a success is absolutely very very rewarding and will spur you on to do even more so it's well worth putting in the effort and time and go slowly at any job that's in your house not just plumbing and heating but have a go at the end of the day you see if you're worried about leaks and things well that's a different matter and you haven't got that confidence then don't worry leave it but if you decide to have a go at the job, at the end of the day, if you don't succeed and you haven't done it, you'll still be calling a plumber in to do the job anyway. Whereas if you have a go yourself and you do do the job okay, the feeling of satisfaction, also the money you've saved, uh, is quite a lovely feeling really. And it's, a, it's one that spurs you on and it doesn't do us plumbers much good because you've done it and haven't called us, that's not very good. <laughs> Now, all joking aside, uh, we, we plumbers love to see guys have a go at themselves and try to do a job properly. I mean, we obviously see lots of bodgy jobs where it hasn't been done properly, but it's held water. And in a way, well, you know, that's kind of the way sometimes things work, because if you've done it, it's not exactly right. Uh, it's working, but we know as plumbers it probably should be done slightly better than that but then maybe that's where you look up a job and you think oh well I'll redo that particular job I can see now that that coupling or t-joint is not in the right place or it's got a little tiny weep on it it shouldn't have and perhaps I should use a solder fit in there so and so it goes on and on the list goes on and there's lots of other plumbing sites out there apart from me um, if you're not sure about a particular job to try a few others and see what they have to say and get a general corner on what you want to do there with, when you tackle a home job so there it is in my experience have a go that's what it's all about. Okay, just a little one there for you. Uh, all my stuff, you know where to go, usual place. Get written 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.